Um, thanks for staying with us. Um, Uti, uh, I think I'll just go straight into the conversations. Um, what did you find for us um, in the news today? Okay, so I mean, really sticking with what we are talking about, the topic for today, um, I think over the week we've seen uh, what fake news and misinformation um, has led to. So for me, in the news, what I found, the headline says Nigerian SARS protest, the misinformation circulating online. The story goes on to show lots of different stories and imagery. Um, the first story was the lady, I don't know if you, you saw the story of the lady sitting on the lion statue, I believe in Enugu, um, mm -hmm. carrying a, a flag or a rolled up flag. And the captions we were all seeing um, indicated that, you know, three of her brothers had been killed by SARS. Um, that was then uh, found to be fake news. And sources have said that she has also received a lot of backlash um, for that. Uh, we also saw the story, which um, I believe led to all the pictures we saw of, of people at the Lekki Toll carrying um, Nigerian flags. Uh, the source uh, of the tweet that was saying that um, uh, she spoke to a person, spoke to, to her father or his father, who was a former um, soldier, about carrying a flag and soldiers not shooting um, if you were holding a Nigerian flag. So just um, lots of stories like that where things have been taken out of context. I mean, we saw the, it, it also refers to the march by the, um, the Archbishop, the Catholic um, Archbishop. So just the story really focusing on all the fake news that's gone around. I mean, we've seen so many of the pictures um, that have later been identified as, as um, people that have sadly passed away in different events and one being a, a theater production. So really just um, highlighting the impact that fake news has played in this crisis that we find ourselves in now. Um, and really, you know, just urging everybody to make sure that they verify information before we're forwarding the information. What is your, what is your goal? What is your objective when you are, you know, forwarding or sharing? You have to think about it um, because it has far reaching consequences. We must not um, knowingly or unknowingly be a catalyst to um, to further you know disrupt further violence or further um, aggravation. So really, just having everybody think through what they're what they're forwarding and what they're sending through. That's why we are having the show and we're talking. About, we're doing the review. You understand because it is it is for us to get lessons learned and how to now move forward. All right. So my story is actually also in line with the NSARS protest. Um, Atedo Peterside, a businessman has spoken recently and he said, in, and I quote, the 5%, he was saying that 5% uh, of the population control 95% using the divide and rule tactics in Nigeria. In his words, it says 5% control you because they divide you. It is the same thing with when with the British came to Africa. Nigeria housed many uh, British soldiers came. They took over Nigeria through divide and rule. The most powerful coastal chiefs that stood in their way, King Jaja of Okobo, town where, where I am from, they took him away. They will now uh, they will now take another chief who is now saying what they would like to hear. Divide and rule, that's how they look, I mean, they took over. The youth must think about such things, use legitimate channels and take back their country. Yes, we failed. You part, we failed you partly. You know, uh, we failed you partly because you have not made plans to take back your country. So take it back and plan properly. I think for me, this is really apt. You know, this conversation is really apt because when when I decided, I just took a break. In fact, Uti, I deliberately did not switch on my television today. Now is the yeah. first time that um, I am actually looking at TV because I have to monitor what is going on on Waze. I did mm. not switch on today because I was tired. I was done. In the midst I of all the of same the things. I did the same thing. Yeah. So they're bringing up a lot of tribal lines, a lot of religious lines in Northern, the Southern agenda, this agenda, so many agendas flying all around. And I, I cannot agree yeah. with a set of piece aside more, you know, we have to be intellectual. I mean, um, intelligent in, in handling this. Mm -hmm. We have to be strategic. We can't just wake yeah. up and on the bandwagon that you are fighting for us, I am fighting for size. The intentions that I had in my heart is completely different from your own intentions. So we need yeah. to be we need a chill pill and calm down to see, you know, that we are not being used as tool to fill some agendas that we don't have any idea about. You yeah. know, so that's for me, when I saw this story, 
it was really apt. Absolutely, it is. It is very, very. Right. Absolutely. So we're going to talk more on this. Like we said today, it's all about yeah. the protest, the aftermath, lessons learned, our uh, speeches and everything. I will also hear from mm -hmm. Abiyanu. But we'll do all of those right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 